Next question is from Lance Zach. For people working out in the mornings, is it better to eat breakfast before or after the workout? This is a really popular question. Yeah, you know, I, I don't. I work out every morning. I worked out this morning at uh, you five. Work out, you work out fasted though, right? Uh, yeah, 545. I was in the garage lifting weights. So I work out between five 545 or 630 is when I'll start my morning workout. And I never eat before because if I did, I'd have to wake up, you know, I'd have to eat breakfast at 4 a.m. in order to work out at 545 and feel okay because I don't like to eat uh, to work out right after I eat. But here's the thing a lot of people forget. If you work out first thing in the morning, it's not like you've had no food ever. The food you had the day before, you're still storing some of that energy. Yeah. You know, if I had Especially a good, if you had a big dinner. Yeah, if I have a good dinner, I'm going to be okay in the morning. But there's a large, uh, there's a really, really big variance here between individuals. Mm. Um, I, you know, I've worked with some clients that if they don't eat a couple hours before they work out, uh, they feel terrible. So they ha- no matter what time they work out, they have to have some food in their stomach uh, you know, an hour and a half to two hours before they work out. Hmm. Me personally, I'm okay. I'm perfectly fine uh, working. I'll work out fasted completely. I'll, I'll not eat at all and work out at noon uh, and be totally fine. Um, so it really does depend what makes you feel the best. The only challenge with having to eat breakfast before you work out, sometimes it means hmm. that you would end up compromising your sleep because if you like me, like for example, if I work out at six, then that means I wake up at five to get where but if I want to eat breakfast, that means I'm have to work out, you know, wake up at four thirty or four fifteen. I don't think that's a good trade. I think sleep is more important than, you know, having the food before your workout. Well, the truth is you're not getting any value from that breakfast unless it is a minimum of an hour before that workout. Right. So it doesn't matter. Like, so why? Why have breakfast unless you can get it an hour, more than an hour before? It takes that long. It takes that long for your body to digest it and then utilize it. So it's not, even if you ate, you know, 30 minutes before a workout, you're not utilizing that fuel yet. That's still getting converted over into glucose. Your body is not using that for your fueling your workout. So you're still running off of last night's fuel anyway. So unless you're getting up, and more than an hour to eat before you do your workout, I would all, almost always recommend it to somebody to eat afterwards. Yeah, I wonder if it's more psychological than anything else. Like somebody who hasn't fasted before and just hasn't really understood like the signals of like, you know, having, how to navigate through that. They're just so used to have to having food before they do something. You know. It's like this conditioning, it's this programming that they've set their body up for where, you know, I have to have food before I do anything rigorous. Uh, but again, like th- there's variances and I'm sure there's people that don't do very well when they don't have food ahead of time. But I'm just wonder, I put that out there, if you've never fasted before, maybe this is the type of person who should, uh, you know, really introduce that. Well, not only that, it also matters like, okay, to like what Sal was saying, right? So most people, you're probably utilizing the fuel that you ate at dinner the night before. But you know, if you do eat a very light dinner and you eat it at six o'clock or seven o'clock, there's a good chance that you've tapped into most of that. So your 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 fuel levels are lower. So, but then there's benefits of burning fat when you go to work out because of that. So there's benefits for you not feeling. But I could see like if you're somebody who's just you don't have the energy, you get lightheaded, or you have. If you're giving me that feedback as a client, then yeah, well, I'm going to have you have. I'll probably have you do a liquid. Like I'll have you do a, a, a shake, I would have you do, because that your yes. body will break yeah. that down, digest that faster. And so if you're giving me feedback as a client that, man, Adam, I have to work out in the morning and I just- Your blood sugar drops. Right. I, I, I'm yeah lightheaded or I just, I can't get any energy to lift. And, and maybe that's because you're eating a 400 calorie or a 300 calorie dinner at six or seven. And so by the time five, six o'clock rolls around, you have tapped all that. You could have a glass of juice, you know, 30 minutes before. Yeah. That's what I used to do. I, I had clients that I would yeah. train at 7 a.m. and- They would, you know, there was a couple of them that would say that, like, oh, I get a little lightheaded. And so I'd tell them, hey, drink a glass of orange juice on the way here. And that solved it right there. It was really easy. Just, you know, an eight ounce glass of orange juice gave them what they needed to so that they weren't dizzy. Uh, during the workout, but uh, the huge individual variance here. But I di- I have found that the vast majority of people that I've worked with are perfectly fine. All the challenges and difficulty that they find with the morning workout did not have to do with the fact that they didn't eat. It had the fact it had to do with the fact that it was an early morning workout. Yeah. So yeah. It's like the, then you're they would eat. To get everything moving. Yeah, it's like then they'd eat and feel better. But why? Because now you're working out an hour later. So it's it's the morning part that usually causes the right. challenge.